Brain drain, cause and effects. Let's picture there's a group of people who are living in a developing country. For example, Sudan. Most of these people will become farmers and merchants in order to make a living. Very few will have enough money and time to go to school and get educated. Those who do decide to get an education will be able to obtain higher paying jobs. Unfortunately, countries like Sudan do not have many of these jobs available due to the lack of infrastructure and services. This leaves these educated people with very few options. They can stay and not use their education to their advantage, or they can leave for the United States knowing they're much more likely to be successful. This is brain drain. People with education will often migrate to where the jobs are leaving only the uneducated people behind. This not only results in countries having a hard time growing, but they also have worse sanitary conditions compared to developed countries. Throughout history, the United States has thrived under the migration of foreign minds. Many of our high-class jobs, such as doctors, tech industries, and economic advisors, are made up of people who are not born in our country. This alone is great for our economy since these people create new opportunities and create new streams of income. The problem comes with the reality that developing countries are, well, developing. This means that people who originally migrated here to seek opportunities may soon find these opportunities in their home countries and in other countries. This would likely damage our economy as skilled workers would have new places to go and may even leave the U.S. in search of these opportunities. Overall, brain drain can both benefit and damage countries depending on who is receiving these brains. Countries can boost their economies with a steady flow of brilliant people, while countries can slowly crumble or get stuck in one place while they lose all of their brain power.